So we're back for part two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this muzzle nut protector. Uh, you see that small spot weld there? Try to get it in there where you can see it good. I'm going to go ahead and take the man's best tool ever, the damn Dremel. Anyways, we're going to knock that little tack weld off. Then we're going to put on this beautiful little booster. It's Polish as well so it's gonna match. Try to get a close up here. Uh, you're probably gonna see my hands in the way but give you an idea just I'm gonna try to take it at an angle and then towards the end I'm going to flatten out like this so I can cut into the actual third protector and not the front sight, the low part of the front sight. I'll probably have to paint it or whatever. I'll probably paint this thing later anyways. I'm going to customize it, but I just want to get it functional so I can get it out and put put it through some paces to get it worn in. So let's go ahead and try this out. So as you can see, I've made a, I basically took most of that uh, bump of the tack weld off. I've already busted this loose, but I'll just show you for video. Channel locks, give it a twist, you'll bust that loose. Comes right off like any brake should. As you can see, I cut into it more to save the front sight. And what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is take a flat file and just grind that down. I'll touch it up later, so I'll go ahead and do that now. El Cheapo Harbor Freight out of work. Anyways, it's a rounded file, but I've got a flat side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a couple swipes. Keep thinking, I've got this in the uh, device, and I am not paying attention. So, anyways, you're gonna booger up the front sight bottom, but you need to get that bump off there. If you don't, it may impede on your brake. I'm not guaranteeing it will. Just make sure if you're going to mar anything up, mar the bottom of the side, you can still paint that. Do not get your threads. So, anyways, I'm not going to lie, it's a little shoddy. I'm almost embarrassed myself. But, uh, anyways, there's not enough there to worry about. I got I cut a small shelf there on the corner didn't intend to but it happened but it's still gonna sit flush my detent is actually working that is good I did not want to fool with that so without further ado let's go ahead and do the honors get this in focus here directly thread this bad boy on there 
Remember, it's opposite. Com block, left hand threads. There's my detent. Push that bad boy in. Get what we can get. Can't feel it. These are good at pinching fingers and breaking fingernails off. So. so these Polish brakes, I'm not sure if any other ones are the same. Seems like these are a little bit smaller as in length. Uh, looks like there's five detent pin slots. I went ahead and torqued it all the way. I couldn't quite get to that one. So I went ahead and just backed it off to the next best one. There's no play. I really, I mean, it's just like a normal brake. As soon as the carbon hits it, it's going to seize up and it's going to be stationary. Anyways, I think she looks pretty good. Uh, I'll get a full, uh, full body shot. Hold on. And there is your finished product. I think she looks pretty damn good. Little Polish pistol. Got the brake on there. The booster. Hopefully it'll cycle well. Like I said, I haven't shot it yet. It ought to be fine. If not, we'll do a little bit of tweaking. But this is uh, part two. I'll go ahead and go to part three next. That'll be the Atero Arms mount. And I'll go ahead and put the um, US Palm grip on there. So we'll get this thing completely done tonight. And then I will put the Primary Arms Advanced Micro Dot on. And we will await a range trip.